Hi, welcome to another video from Togatech. My name's Dave. In today's short video, I'll be showing you how to put together a universal portable filming rig. This is uh, not a new idea, and it's actually inspired by a guy called DSLR Video Shooter. But I use three locations for my filming one is the office here. The other is my workshop where I have my 3D printer and my laser cutter and the third one is just my dining room table where I can do all my unboxing. So I wanted to put together a filming rig that combines all the units I need for filming which is my camera, my microphone and additional lighting all on one rig that was totally portable so I can use it in either one of the locations. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's go to it. I will also leave in the description below a link to where you can purchase all these items. OK, let's get on with the build. thing you're going to need is this stand. This is Mason & White double arm monitor stand. The uh, model number is GADA9997. Let's open that up and see what we get in here. Various nuts and bolts. Allen keys, more bolts. Um, Cable management clips, a few of those, the double arm, quite robust, it's all made of steel, Some, these are the monitor plates for mounting to the back of the monitor that fits to the arms, we won't be using those, so I'll just put those aside. These are heavy steel feet, You've got uh, foam rubber on there for protection of your work surfaces. That's the centre pole for mounting the arms to. And these are the two securing plates for the feet. Again, it's all made of heavy gauge steel, all nicely. Uh, Painted in black. So let's get these out of the way. That's Mason and White double arm monitor stand. I'll leave a link in the description box below. So, right, let's put this together. So, first of all, we've got their feet. We need our base plate, which is that one. The foam is the bottom side down. So I'm going to build this upside down, so I'm going to go to the top plate first, top plate there, line up the feet, and line up to those bolt holes there, and then the, the bottom plate sits on top of that, lining up again the bolt holes all the way through. Got various size Allen keys and the bolts. We need all these five black hex bolts. Pop those in there. It's two to each feet and one for the back of the plate. And the correct size Allen key. Let's do those up. Of 
quick and easy that is. Right, so that's the plate already, the two feet on there. Next thing to fix is the centre pole. It's the centre pole there, screw thread on the bottom. It lines up with that and then it's this large bolt here that goes through the base. Line that up with our pole. Very large arm key. Get that up snug. There we go. That's it. Goes together very quickly, the stand. The two monitor arms are already constructed. They come like that in the box. So they'll just pop on. Just make sure which way up you've got. There's two little bolt holes here threaded screw holes. I'm going to keep them on the top. The arm just slides on there. And then again with the medium Allen key, we just tighten that up. You can obviously adjust the height of this to what you require. Like that. Just tighten that up once you've got it in the position you want. Two arms fitted. Oh, quite stiff, but that's probably because they're new. There we go. It's the two arms. So also in the box, it comes with these, which are cable tidy clips. Got the square ones here. They'll just clip on the side of the arm here. So you can keep all your cables neat and tidy. Got a round one here, obviously fits in the, on the centre column here. Like that, lovely. All the other nuts and bolts and spaces you get are for fitting the monitor, which we're not going to do, so we don't need those. So let's pop these all out of the way and go on to the next stage. Okay, all right, our next stage. Right, what I want to mount on here is my camera, that I do for my filming, an additional light and a microphone as well for recording sound audio. So I've got this, which is a very cheap, extendable mic stand. I think I paid about seven pound for this. Comes with a little clamp on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp this to here. Just clamp it straight on the arm. Like that. Pop the arm in the top. And that's going to be for our microphone. You see, I've got a fully adjustable boom, so I can pull that right as close to me as possible keeping it out of shot with my microphone on there. Now the microphone I use is this. This is a Kameez Studio mic. Again I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get that from. So let's set this up. Kameez Studio microphone. Not expensive. In there, instructions, USB cable, windshield, mountain bracket, tripod, little mini tripod and the microphone. It's quite sturdily built, it's got a bit of weight to it, doesn't feel plasticky at all. It has uh, echo or reverb on there and it has adjustable gain. Also has a headphone socket so you can monitor the sound directly through your headphones, hear what it sounds like. Pop that together. Uh, another little cable slidey down there. Okay, right, so 
that screws on the back of this microphone. And the only drawback I did find with this is the mic stand here comes with a standard screw thread here for like mounting a camera or a, a normal type microphone. This doesn't have that sim thread. So what I'm going to do is just fix that to the camera. Uh, sorry, fix that to the microphone. Nice and tight there. I'm going to connect the tripod up. See this won't fit to that screw. I could change this screw later on something, but that's quite a large screw. That's about 15mm thread on that. So I'm going to connect that up to the microphone. Then I'm going to get, in true Blue Peter style, two elastic bands. Twist them, put them over this arm, and tuck that out of the way. Put those over the arm. And go over the arm. And then I'm just going to push the legs of the tripod through and secure them with the elastic bands. did it this quick and easy way because I wanted the microphone to be able to be removable but uh, if it's going to remain permanent I'll probably clamp it with a, another bolt or a Jubilee style clip. Let's come off it. Let's just screw that back on. Turn it too many times. So yeah, we probably could do with more permanent mounting on there. I'll just put a couple of Jubilee clips on there and that'll hold that tight. Just move that band there. But once it's on there, it's on. A USB cable for the microphone. here use that little velcro strap that came with it just to hold the cables in place all your cables neat come down here clip on here Get your cable tidies just close it down here there you go all your cables are nice and neat clipped away so that's the microphone, boom arm. Next, I've got an additional light, which is this. This is a W49 LED portable video light, battery operated. Comes with a hot shoe mount, a cold shoe mount, so it can slip directly on top of certain cameras, or if you've got some mounts built. Fully adjustable LED. Very powerful. Now I've taken the little bolts that go in the top of these frame arms here and I've screwed that into the cold shoe mount and that will just screw in the top of there. We've got a little fill-in light we can use when we're filming and it's dimmable. Nice. And then the last thing is a camera tripod head. Now I've got this one here. It's a quick release mount one. So once I've fixed this base plate to the bottom of my camera, I can easily take it off of there. You haven't got to unscrew it, just undo the clip and the thing pops out. Again with this, I use one of those little mounting screws that came in here. 
embedded it in the bottom of the head, the tripod head, and that just screw through the top there. I'm currently filming using a um, Logitech webcam on a, on a tripod but um, as you can see what, what I have got now another something I've just bought recently a new camera and there's the tripod head on there so it gives us a tip in and our rotation so we can adjust the camera angles on here guess what I've uh, just got myself here is this which is the Nikon A900 digital camera it's a lovely camera it's a lovely camera great for vlogging but it's got the flip up screen and again it didn't break the bank price wise there's a lot of decent cameras out there but they're very expensive this films in 1080p and 4k as well I'll leave a link to this camera in the description below as well. Now that, if I just pop off my quick release now, now that will screw to the base of my camera here. vlogging camera all set up I've got an additional light missed off my little windshield and my overhead microphone now this whole thing is as you say portable so I can take this from the office to my tabletop here or out to my workshop and everything is all in one it's all in one there all on one stand well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. hope it's been informative. Um, please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time on Togatech. Thanks for watching.